So why did Suguru Ghetto, poster child of protecting the weak in the Jujutsu world, betray Gojo and turn evil? Well, it all started when his core beliefs started to crumble after he wasn't strong enough to protect Riko Amanai from Toji Fushiguro. Ghetto initially believed that Jujutsu sorcerers should protect the weak and shield them from the realities of curses. But following Riko's tragic death, the sounds of the heartless non-sorcerer star religious group supporters cheering on Riko's demise began to haunt him. He began going on more and more dangerous missions, consuming the vomit-tasting negative emotions of humans through his cursed spirit manipulation. While in this deeply conflicted state, he then learned an unsettling truth from his fellow special great sorcerer, Yuki Tsukumo. Non-sorcerers were the primary source of curses, and so Yuki proposed two solutions to Ghetto, eradicating cursed energy from non-sorcerers, or try and teach them how to control it. But worn down from a seemingly never-ending marathon of curses, Ghetto chose a third darker path, the elimination of all non-sorcerers. And following yet another tragic death with optimistic underclassman Yu Haibara, his sinister ideology was set in stone. In his next mission, he annihilated an entire non-sorcerer village of 112 people to rescue two sorcerer girls, and then later committed parasite, fully transforming into the curse user monkey man we know today.